Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to install mods for Skyrim manually on a Mac specifically. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to a website that has mods on it. Uh, I like to use the Skyrim Nexus, it would be skyrim.nexusmods.com. Uh, there's also the Steam Workshop and some other places, but the Nexus has a lot of really good ones. So first you're going to want to find one that you want. I'll just click on one here. Um, and then there's going to be a section that says files. You'll click on that. Uh, things might be a little bit slow just so you know because I'm recording at the same time but hopefully this will work out okay. Uh, and then under files it'll usually say main files and it'll have some optional files. Um, it's up to you what you want to do but uh, whichever file you choose, you're going to click on Download Manually. Uh, once you do that, your file is going to appear in your downloads. And you can open that up. And what you're going to get is one of these kind of things. Uh, it might look a little bit different, but it's going to be some kind of compressed file that you're going to have to unzip. Okay. Uh, there's various programs you can use, um, such as Unarchiver, uh, which is I'm using, uh, but a lot of different things will work. Uh, so once you open that up, here I can just show you an example of what that will look like. Um, so you just click on that, we'll unzip it, and you'll get a folder like this. Okay. And you just open up that folder and usually you'll get at least three things like this. Uh, sometimes you'll get a plain text document that will say read me. That'll usually have credits for who made the mod, uh, some instructions on how to install, though usually they're not uh, very helpful if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and sometimes some screenshots or something like that. Uh, but you'll you'll pretty much always get a textures folder, a meshes folder, and some type of ESP document. Um, depending on the mod, you might only get a meshes, or you might get a meshes and textures but not an ESP. It just depends uh, what the nature of the mod is. So let's see how to install these. I'm gonna go over here and open up my Skyrim game and what you want to do is uh, control click or right click you Mac users know what I'm talking about uh, and say show package contents okay then contents resources trans gaming C drive Program Files, Elder Scrolls Skyrim 5, and then you want to go to User Profile, Local Settings, Application Data, Skyrim, and then this folder will probably start blank, okay? You won't have a document in here. So if you haven't made any mods before, um, what you'll need to do is create a plain uh, text document okay so you get your your text edit program open okay and go to format and say make plain text okay and then you're going to save it okay as plugins.txt okay make sure you name it exactly like that and don't save it to the desktop save it to your uh, folder here that we just opened up but I already have one so I don't need to, to do that um, so open up text edit make it a plain text document and save it in here okay if you already have one, then don't worry about it, but you probably won't. 
so what you're going to do with that is any mod that you have that comes with an ESP, you're going to copy the name of it, okay, and paste it into this document, okay. I'm already running this one, so I'm just going to delete that here. See how I have them all lined up? Okay, you don't want any extra uh, spaces in between them, like that. Uh, don't change the name at all. It needs to be uh, exact copy, and you just have them lined up like that. Make sure when you close it, you save a version. Okay? So once you have uh, the name copied in there, going to go back a couple times uh, to where you had user profile and then you're going to go over here to the data folder okay then you're going to copy the actual document the ESP and then you're going to paste it into the data folder okay uh, once you have that then open it up and you should be able to find it you see blade of Olympus ESP okay and then your other folders, see we have meshes, you're going to go to meshes in your data folder. And then usually I try and keep them kind of on the same uh, level so we know where they're at, okay? Um, so then we have, in the mod, we have weapons, we'll open that up. And you see we have weapons up here in the Skyrim game. And then here's the list of, of things that I have in there. So again, you're going to copy this folder and just paste it up here into weapons, okay? Just like the same thing it has in the mod, okay? Then you're going to go back to data again in Skyrim and go down to your mod, go back to it, and you'll find a textures folder. And you find the textures folder here in the Skyrim game. Uh, so we're going to open that up and then we see weapons again. Open that up and then you're going to put again, copy it and put it into the weapons up here in the Skyrim game. Okay? Then you can just check and see if all that worked if you wanted. You should have a bunch of little documents in it. Um, again, not every mod is going to have these three, okay? It might have fewer, uh, but you're always going to have um, at least one of these, okay? If you don't have the other ones, don't worry, that's just how the mod works. Uh, so you just put in whatever you want. The important thing is you keep the file directory, directory exactly the same as it is in the mod, okay? For instance, I don't want to take this meshes folder and just put it directly into data, okay? Because I already have a different meshes folder, right? So a lot of, pretty much every mod, again, not all of them, but pretty much every mod will have a meshes folder, okay? I don't want to have a different meshes folder for every mod, okay? So like in my Skyrim game, if I open up the meshes folder, I have all these folders inside. So one mod before had meshes, armor, and then Elven, okay, and then another one had meshes, armor, and then orcish, okay, so it didn't make a whole separate line of files for the orcish one and the elvish one, okay, if they were in the same file in the individual mod, you want to make them in the same, I'm sorry, folder, you want to make them in the same folder in the Skyrim game, okay, uh, same with the, the textures, um, you'll notice if I open that up, uh, like under uh, actors, we have like character and horse. So both character and horse were f folders that were in a textures folder in an individual mod. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about in case that wasn't clear. Um, so like here was a meshes folder for a mod, and then armor, and it had all these ones. Um, and then here was another meshes folder, and then it had an actors folder, and character, 
but I didn't make a separate line of folders for each one. Okay. Um, so basically, when you just when you open up a mod, you'll be able to see what it has, and you need to put it in accordingly. Okay. Uh, when you're all done, you can just close it. Here, I'm gonna toss these because there's duplicates of ones I already had. Um, then you're gonna go over and open up your Skyrim game. And notice I didn't just drag the files into the folders. Um, I like to actually copy and paste, that way I keep the original mod. So if I ever want to uninstall them, basically you just need to do, you know, remove everything that you put in for the mod. And if you keep the mod separate, you know, saved, I always keep every mod that I installed, so that way if I ever want to remove it, I can go back and check and see what it was, and then I get rid of it. Be sure to also remove it in this document that you made. Um, and remember, if you ever get an ESP file, that just goes directly into the data folder. It doesn't go in anywhere else. Alright, so uh, basically I'm just showing you proof that I do have some mods running here. I uh, see these are not normal gauntlets or headwear. Um, my face is also also different. Uh, I have a lot of different mods running on here. Um, if I go to the forge, you can see I have some things that normally uh, come in the game. Uh, so You can see some mods will show up, like they don't actually have, uh, like these are the gauntlets I'm wearing right now, they don't look the same. Uh, but when you actually put them on, they will look different then. Have a different lighting effect. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, if you like the video, Please uh, like it, <laughs> hit the like button. Uh, if you found it helpful, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I like doing these videos, and basically a lot of this took just a lot of figuring out, and I figured, uh, you know, I was able to figure out how to do it eventually, and I might as well make a video to help you guys out if there's anyone out there who isn't sure how to do this. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.